Hi, this video is for dual credit students to show you how to request your dual credit transcript through your My Ivy account. Requesting your transcripts is a really important step to ensure that the credits you have earned through Ivy Tech and dual credit can be transferred off after graduation and applied to whatever college you might be attending in the summer or the fall. So you will start at My Ivy, which is at myivy.ivytech.edu. Use the green login button to log in if you've already set up your account. If you don't remember your password, check the link out below that and it'll walk you through resetting your password. If you have never set up your My Ivy account, you can click the blue first time here button to set things up. If you need help with setting up your My Ivy account, see the video linked in the description below for how to set My Ivy up using info in your dual enroll account. Once you're in My Ivy, the best way to find the transcript information is to use the search bar up in the top. You can just search for transcript. Remember that when you heart the items, you could save them as a favorite. So we can see the unofficial transcripts and the request official transcripts. Those are the two items we're going to look at today. So if you save those as favorites, then they will automatically show up on your home screen under your favorites menu. So we have two options for you. The unofficial transcripts is the one that you do not have to pay for. You could check out your unofficial transcripts at any time. It is a good way to double check and make sure that all the credit that you believe should be on your transcript is actually on there. So you can choose the undergraduate option here if you'd like. There's only one option under the transcript type. Submit that. And if you have credits that you have earned, it will show up here as well. Uh, in addition to any credits that are in progress. So my W account student doesn't have anything registered. Those will typically show up by term. So starting in the first term that you've earned dual credit up to the most recent term, and then at the bottom of this page, it will show you a list of any courses that are still in progress. So this is really important to double check your unofficial transcript before you order your official transcript to make sure all the credits that you've taken have a grade entered and have been actually applied to the transcript. So you can check this out anytime. Uh, I recommend if you need to have a list of this printed or emailed, you can do control P and do a print and then save it to PDF. So that's an easy way to save it as a PDF. If you need to email it off uh, for somebody's reference, that can be helpful. The unofficial transcript can be helpful if you have a meeting with a college advisor in the springtime before you've actually completed the classes, say you're meeting with an advisor for the college you plan to attend, it's a nice way for them to see the classes that you will be bringing with you. And then they could start scheduling based on that schedule sometimes, making sure that you're not taking classes that you will be receiving the dual credit for on your Ivy Tech transcript. So the other option that we have available in your My Ivy account is the request official transcript. So the official transcript is the one you pay for. At Ivy Tech, it is $5 per transcript, so it's pretty reasonable. But you wanna wait to pay for a transcript until you know everything is on that unofficial transcript. So again, double check your unofficial transcripts. Make sure everything's on there that you think should be on there. If something seems to be missing, follow up with your local dual credit team on your Ivy Tech campus locally, and they can help you find out what's going on with that class that you think should be there. When you click that request official transcript, it will take you over to the link for our transcript ordering site. We use parchment.com for ordering transcripts. You may already have a parchment account through your high school. If your high school also uses parchment to send transcripts, but you'll need to make sure this is your Ivy Tech parchment account. So the easiest way to get there is through your My Ivy account. It's going to make sure you're on the Ivy Tech site. You should see the logo there. So click the transcript icon to send your transcripts. Type the institution you'd like to send it to. And you could search by institution. If you're sending it to a college with multiple locations, you'll want to make sure that you choose the correct location. So if I'm going to IU Bloomington, I'm going to choose IU Bloomington in that description. You can see it's listed there again. So double check that that's the correct location. You can see it's a $5 cost for that. And this is an e-transcript. That means it's going to be sent electronically to Indiana University Bloomington. If you need to, you can switch to mail delivery, but that means it will be physically printed and mailed to Indiana University, which is going to take a bit longer. The electronic transcripts generally arrive within 24 hours. The mailed transcripts are going to take a bit longer. Scroll down and choose the purpose for the request. You can choose apply for undergraduate admission for most cases. But you could scroll that list. If there's something else that makes more sense, you could choose that and click the continue button at the bottom. 
that will let you continue to the next page to verify that your e-transcript is there. We're sending that to Indiana University. If you need to send a transcript to more than one university, you could click the continue shopping button. It'll take you right back to the transcript page, select transcripts. If I've also applied to Purdue and I wanna send a transcript off to Purdue University, you could find that as well and go through the same process. So select the transcript, select the reason, continue, and you can add as many transcripts as you need to send. It's gonna be a $5 cost for each one. So your total will be reflected up here in the top. Once you have all the transcripts ordered, all of the different colleges added that you need to send a transcript to, click the checkout button. That'll take you over to our checkout page. It's gonna let you know that since you've logged in through your My Ivy account, we already have the consent required to be able to send your transcript. It may prompt you at this point to put in your date of birth as well to confirm your identity. It's just a double check to make sure that it's the right student and the right account. Click next there. It's gonna take you over to just verify the final time that you're sending everything where you want to send it to. So this is a good chance one more time to just double check. Universities are correct there. You can see your total and then confirm that page to go to the payments screen. So at this point, you'll put in your payment information. Once you complete that, Parchment will send your transcript off. So again, it's really important to double check your unofficial transcript before ordering those official transcripts. But it's also really important after graduation and all the grades are entered for you to send that official transcript out. That is how colleges will actually apply the credits you've earned with Ivy Tech to your college transcript to get you the credit you need.